somewhere in the air, over 43,000 people welcomed the 50th anniversary game back to Comiskey Park. This time, the fans wonder if Whitey Herzog can manage the National League past Harvey Keene and the American League for a record 12th straight time. Hopeful that they can take home memories they'll cherish forever. One such memory comes with the appearance of the honorary National League captain Ernie Banks, the legendary Chicago Cubs shortstop whose 19 years of basking in the Wrigley Field sunshine is warmly remembered. Remembered, too, is Joe Cronin, also a Hall of Fame shortstop, who today is acting as the American League captain exactly 50 years after he started in the first All-Star game in 1933. On this day, the fans also salute a third shortstop, Robin Young of the Milwaukee Brewers, the player who received the most votes in the fans' All-Star election. As game time approaches, the crowd is treated to a touch of living history when ex-Yankee Lefty Gomez and 12 other original All-Stars commemorate their appearance in the 1933 game by throwing out this night's first ball. The opening festivities are now just memories, and it's time to play ball. The American League is hoping to sweep away the unpleasant memories of 11 straight losses, and it's counting on starting pitcher Dave Steve of the Toronto Blue Jays to lead the way. Steve Sachs of the Dodgers is Steve's first challenge, and the second-year second baseman starts off his second All-Star game with a slow roll. Steve's misplay is no laughing matter, and a closer look shows that the error probably came about because Steve had to throw the ball directly over Sachs' head. With Sachs now on first, Steve calmly looks in for his sign, and despite a quick check to keep him honest, Sachs takes off for second. 